All right, so today we are going to look at degree of financial leverage. And we're gonna do this using the balance, the uh, income statement rather than the balance sheet. So a lot of times you see assets over equity. That's another way to calculate leverage. That requires using the balance sheet, which we are not going to use today. Today, we are going to use the income statement. So I'm not gonna go over the income statement in detail. Uh, that's for another video. Um, today, I'm just gonna talk really generally about the income statement and explain a little bit more in, in depth about what degree of financial leverage is. So degree of financial leverage, the formula is EBIT over EBT. So EBIT is represented here and EBT is represented here on this income statement. So EBIT is what we have after we, we have our revenue and we subtract cost of goods sold or cost of sales as, as it's sometimes called. That's more of your, your costs that are directly tieable to any one product that, that a company sells, any one unit. So for example, if you were a baker your cost of dough uh, that goes into each donut or cake that you make, that would be included in your cost of goods sold. But operating costs are what we use. Uh, that's what's represented here. Uh, that's what we use to figure out uh, our starting place for figuring out our degree of financial leverage. So we have things like general and administrative, office, depreciation. Those are um, just operating the, the daily costs of, of operating your company. So those are all reflected in EBT, but also in EBIT as well. So the difference to go from EBIT to EBIT, all we need to do is take away this I. If we remove the I, EBT is the same thing as EBIT. What is I? I is interest expense. So this is why we call the degree of financial leverage uh, financial leverage instead of operating leverage because interest expense is a financing decision. It has to do with how much debt a company has outstanding. So we have EBIT in this example of 12,550 and we put that over the EBT, oh, sorry, the EBT of 11,850 and we get about 1.06. So what's one thing that we can do to increase this? Well, quite simply put, if we increase this interest expense, we will increase our degree of financial leverage. If interest expense is increased, it means the company has uh, borrowed more or is paying more for the borrowing that they already are doing. And I'll come back to that in just a second here. So let's say hypothetically that we, uh, let's say we doubled our interest expense here. So instead of 700, we're gonna say, what if this was 1,400? So now we have EBIT as before, 12,550. And then now we're gonna take this original 11,850 and we're gonna subtract out an additional 700 since we doubled our degree of operating leverage. So I get, when I plug in those numbers, one point one three. So you can see we got a jump from our one point oh six that we had before. We increased our interest expense, and our degree of financial leverage increased quite a bit. 
we doubled our interest expense and we more or less doubled. We went from uh, 1.06 to, um, well, we really can't say that we, we, we doubled our degree of financial leverage, but this portion here that, that comes after the one, we, we doubled that. So the point is, is that it's uh, increased quite a bit here. So what are two ways that we could make interest expense go up? So interest expense is your total debt outstanding. So it's total debt times interest rate that the company is being charged. So we can either increase our total debt with our interest rate staying the same, or we can increase our interest rate, so more expensive borrowing. Either way, that will result in a higher degree of financial leverage.